Hey guys and welcome to my tutorial on how to install shaders for Minecraft version 1.6.2. Okay, so let me just run through something. I ran into a dilemma and I couldn't actually work out how to do it. Did a bit of research and I figured it out and I discovered um, a very easy method on how to do it. And I, I want to share it with you guys. So let's jump in with the tutorial and uh, show you how to do it. Okay, so there's two key components you really need to download to allow you to put shaders on your recent version of Minecraft. Okay, so there's a link in the description and you need to download Forge for Minecraft. So, let me just show you the web page. Okay, so here we go. When you go to the Forge downloads page, you need to download the recommended version. You can go with uh, the latest version, but I'm assuming the recommended version means it's a bit more stable. Okay, so you want to download the installer. And once that is downloaded, you can just drag and drop it on your desktop or wherever you want to put it. Okay, so all you have to do is double click. And you will get this, Minecraft Forge. Um, you want to install the client for your local version of Minecraft, so click OK. I have already done that. Next thing you need to do is work your way to your local Minecraft folder, and that is usually stored in your app data, roaming, and then in your dot .minecraft. When you arrive there, um, if you go into the versions, you will see that the forge actually has its own version there. And something else that's been added is the mods. And if you look at in the mod folder, you will you won't actually have this. But next thing you need to download is um, the shaders mod core that will also be linked in the description. So all you have to do is download that, drag it on your desktop, or just drag it straight from your downloads folder into your mods folder on your Minecraft. That is pretty simple. Okay, so all you have to do after you do that is launch Minecraft. Let me just do that right now. Actually, I have Minecraft already open. Let's just close it like so, and uh, let's relaunch it. Okay, run. Okay, next thing you need to do is create a new profile. I've already got a profile here called Forge Shaders, but let's just say, for example, I was making a new profile. So you can give it a name. Um, what you want to do is use the Forge version. So you click on here, use version, and scroll all the way to the bottom and click the Forge version. If you want to upgrade the amount of RAM, I know this has nothing to do with the video title, but if you want to give Minecraft more RAM, all you do is tick this and you can change this number. So we can change it to like 8 because I've got 16 gigs on here, but I'll just keep it at 5. Okay, so that's the profile anyway. All you have to do now is click play. Wait for the game to launch. Hopefully it'll be nice and fitting in the screen. Yep. Hello Mojang. Okay, if you have done this correctly, you will see there's a mod section here. Um, if you look through here, you can see that it's got J um, GL, <laughs> um, GL SL shaders mod installed. Pretty simple. So if you go to options, you should have the shaders tab like this. Okay, so there is a ton of shader packs you can actually use. Um, I'll put a link to every single one of these in the description for you. Some of them is, are uh, raw files, so you may have to unarchive them to get the zip files out of it. But the shader packs that you download need to go into the shaders pack folder here and all you do is just drag and drop them in if you don't actually have a shaders pack folder please create one make sure the shaders pack is all in lowercase and it's pretty simple like that um, if you don't actually have this folder or the mods folder after creating your new profile make sure you launch minecraft at least once and it should create the actual folders you need Okay, so the shaders here, pretty simple. All you have to do is drag and drop them. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, shaders. If you click on open shaders folder, all you have to do is drag and drop the downloads that I've linked you to in the description into here. It's pretty simple. Um, some of the shaders are actually buggy in this version of Minecraft. They're still beta versions, unfortunately, um, but they're still fine tuning and trying to make them epic. Um, this is the Rudo ones, the very commonly used ones by people like Corrales with his builds. 
Um, one B dubs actually used yesterday. This chunk needs to load in. Is um, I'll just show you it right here. I can't remember the name. It's got quite a weird name. Um, Sasukadel, but the ultra one here. This is the one B dubs used on Minecraft yesterday. I think it's this one. Don't quote me, but it has the same effect. Um, all the water is nice and pretty. The sun and whatnot. And uh, as you can see, there's a focus effect. So if you like look at the tree. If you look behind the tree, you can see it's a realistic focus effect. Um, I wouldn't recommend this one for building it at the moment. Um, I'm working on a few time lapses on my channel. I could actually show you one of my builds, but if you're actually flying, this fly, uh, you can see that the sun will sort of. Oh, this, it's not actually glitching out. It was glitching out last time. Oh, there we go. There we go. The sun. The the actual sky freaks. But anyway, guys, hope this video has been easy for you to understand. Um, please don't ask me questions if you're running into problems because I'm not going to be offering any support after this because I barely know how to install it myself. This is just what I have done. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is shaders 1.6.2. I think this is the most stable version out of the shaders. As you can see, the water is very, very nice. There we go, but this kind of tears in, you can see a little tear here in the in the water, but yeah, it's kind of cool, it's not bad, it does the trick. This is one of my small creative builds I brought on my channel like a year ago, it's really old. Anyway guys, make sure you follow the instructions in the description, there's nothing to it really, it's pretty simple, and uh, yeah, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I shall be seeing you soon in another Minecraft video, so peace out.